Hi everybody, Daniel Saletti here. Usually what we'd be running right now is our opening credits for As The Real Turns, but I wanted to mention something that we would usually put in an entertainment update, but I wanted to say it right now. Um, I graduated in a journalism degree from Keene State, and Keene State has lost a wonderful man recently. That is filmmaker Tom Cook. Uh, he was a great, uh, great film uh, teacher that uh, I knew very well. Uh, we did some journalism stories together. He invited me into his home, and he even worked with an idol of mine, William Shatner, for um, some editing things, and even got me to zoom in on a few classes with him. So I just want to um, say that we will miss him very much, and um, that he was a uh, he was a wonderful man uh, and a great addition to the film community. So. Here's to you, Tom. You'll be missed. And welcome once again to another fantastic episode of, of As The Real Turns. I'm Daniel Saletti and I will be your host as always. And we have got another great show lined up for you today. But before we go anywhere, let us always do our entertainment update. Take it away. Michaela Golick and Ashley Cox from Tobias Sisters Productions for your entertainment update. Today's update includes two shows and sadly a triple header celebrity Ooh. deaths. So first, the sad news. Three more celebrity deaths have occurred. First, Lisa Marie Presley. The famed daughter of rock and roll legend Elvis Presley died last month due to a heart attack. Although she outlived her father, she was also too young at the time of her death, being only 64. She and her father are both still survived by their mother and wife, Priscilla. Next, Annie Wershing. The American actress was only 45 when she died. She was known for her appearances in Timeless, 24, and more. Her first and final performances were, oddly enough, from Star Trek, a guest appearance on Enterprise at the start, and a recurring role as the Borg Queen in Picard Season 2 at the end. And finally, Cindy Williams. Known as Shirley in Happy Days and the spin-off Laverne and Shirley, Williams also found success in American Graffiti and various guest spots, and she was 75. Wow. Well, on another surprising note, Dr. Phil is ending. Ooh. The the Life Psychologist talk show will be wrapping up for good come spring of 2023. The talk show started off as segments on The Oprah Winfrey Show and grew to be one of the top syndicated and highest rated talk shows. Mm -hmm. If you need advice, watch Dr. Phil now before the doctor is out for good. Coming up. Let's do it. I want you to get excited about your life. Here we go, in 10. Stand by, camera 6. If it's happening now, we're going to deal with it now. Stand by, Dr. Phil. This is going to be a changing day in your life. I'm taking people with real problems and moving them in to the Dr. Phil house. And lastly, on a weird note, can the History Channel get any more conspiracy? Well, James Bond himself, Pierce Brosnan, is going to find out. History's Greatest Heists is going to take a deep dive into history's most memorable robberies, heists, and thefts. Are any of them fake? Will criminals learn new tricks? 
are all of these plots to bring Brosnan back to 007? Find out when History's Greatest Heists premieres on History Channel. A five-man team has just disabled thermal cameras with hairspray. Daring risk, dramatic payoff. You can't make this stuff up. History's Greatest Heists with Pierce Brosnan. New series Sunday, February 12th on the History Channel. And this has been Mikhail Golick and Ashley Cox from the Blythe Sisters Productions for your entertainment update. Check us out on YouTube. Now, back, back to you, Daniel. Daniel. All right, and thank you so much, the De Blythe Sister Productions um, girls. Um, Ashley and Michaela, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, it's always great to um, have them do this and then also to work with them on their projects. So uh, definitely do check them out on YouTube. And I did want to um, put in a little uh, asterisk here. Um, I got it wrong. Lisa, Lisa Marie Presley died at 54, not 64. So that was my bad. Sorry about that. Um, but hey, very sad news and all three of those deaths there. Another death, Dr. Phil ending. That's his show's... Um, and then, uh, yeah, hey, Brosnan, uh, looks like a Bond plot to me, what you're trying to do there. I don't know. That's just me, though. Anyway, though, uh, thank you so much for doing that. So we have another great show for you lined up. It is something that I like to call my personal alternate universe, and I will explain that later. But get in, get in a form of zen, because we are talking about the Karate Kid. You're the best of All right, yes, the Karate Kid franchise. It is a, it is a memorable one. I mean, it's not as big as, as one may want it to be, but it definitely has a lot of stuff to talk about. And uh, we have got um, another great Miyagi student here uh, with us today. We got my good friend Vince Pantaleo. Vince, thanks for coming on. Yeah, always. It's uh, always a good good time, especially Karate Kid. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I, I, I might be a slight slight fan of Karate Kid. Well, I, I, um, I you know, I realize <laughs> that we have similar headbands going on here, so that's kind of cool. I, I like yeah. that. I like that. And I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll spill the beans here. Vince has, has provided these wonderful headbands <laughs> and this nice bonsai tree. Bonsai. Bonsai. So how about that? So you just like supplied half the oh, staff. Oh yeah, no. So, so thank you for that. Prop department this, uh, this time around. Prop department, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, no, I, it, it's great to have someone who has who likes Karate Kid as much as me because I do like this, this franchise, the really good one. And uh, let's jump right into it now. Let's jump in with the very first thing that kicked it off, the very first Karate Kid movie. So this was 1984 when we uh, first this saw the Karate it. Kid. The and um, it, it, the story of, of it is, if you haven't seen it, um, this boy here named Daniel LaRusso, played by Ralph Macchio, uh, he and his mother moved to California. And... Daniel's trying to fit in. First of all, great name. Uh, he's trying to fit in, and he finds himself uh, wanting to join karate while also meeting this wonderful girl, uh, Allie, played by the always beautiful Elizabeth Shue. Um, Daniel, though, he, he struggles with the karate. He gets to kind of in fights with these with the wrong crowd, and uh, he finds out that his apartment janitor or custodian knows a little bit about karate so he teaches them and they go to a competition and Daniel comes out victorious. The film also stars here Pat Morita as Mr. Miyagi. Uh, it is it is a sports movie in hindsight. I mean it's you know the training stuff and the uh, learning about the sport and stuff like that. But it's a good one. It's really, really good. I, I, and, and the training um, versions in this are, are different from what other sports would do. So, um, Vince, tell me, you obviously have seen this movie. How good is it, and should other people watch it? Um, no, so definitely people should definitely watch it. 
It's um, you know probably one of the you know most famous and best examples of like you know 80s like action movies. Um, I mean, it definitely has like you know high and low points, but overall it's it's definitely a movie that you know it's. I mean, clearly we have a new se uh, series for it, so it's standing the test of time. That's right, yeah. And I mean, that's the that's one of the things we saw right there in the trailer. One of the famous moments, the famous crane kick from uh, from Daniel's character. And, uh, you know, the, the movie has some good behind-the-scenes uh, people, too. I mean, we have the director, uh, John... You know the name. Yeah. Yeah. Blanking on the name completely, but John something. Yeah. But yeah. And he directed Rocky. Yeah. And then he also got Rocky's composer, um, Bill Conti, mm -hmm. who has done countless other stuff like Rocky and Free Your Eyes Only, North and South, stuff like that. Um, music also is a good part of this movie because not only do we have that great Conti score, but we have a wonderful song by um, Joe Esposito. That's right, yeah. Yep. Um, You're the best. That's one point, round kick. Eight! So, yeah, no, You're the Best is a great song. I, I, I love that song, and I believe it was also originally written for Rocky. Yeah, this uh, this movie shares, like, a lot of DNA with Rocky, because, um, like, I mean, it if you, like, break it down, it really is. It's the same story, but, like, a little bit different, like, different sport, you were saying. Yep. But, um, but no, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a great movie. Yeah, and a little bit of context here. I mean, the headbands that we're wearing here are the Miyagi Dojo, which is basically... Just Daniel and Miyagi. <laughs> There's really no big dojo. Yeah, at least in the beginning. Yeah. Um, but the, but the one that he's fighting is your shirt there, the Cobra yes. Kai. Cobra Kai. And uh, we have um, uh, William Zabka as Johnny, who's kind of like the big villain, the big enemy of this, um, of this movie. And then we also have his sensei, which is. Um, a good friend of ours now, Apparently, Martin, yeah. Martin Cove. And I'll tell you why. Because when we went to the Boston Fan Expo, um, we got to talking with him. And uh, through connections of our costumes and stuff like that, uh, he said, here, take pick any picture and we'll sign it for you yeah we uh so there you have it right there we just went up to him and we just wanted you know we wanted to just tell him that like you know we're fans of cobra kai karate kid and then he was just like no nonsense just like you know pick any headshot kind of thing and i'll sign it for you yeah i it mean was, yeah exactly yeah. And I, I, I was in a zorro outfit and i'm not afraid to say that uh so and he was a big zorro fan so yeah. he wrote like for Don Diego de la Vega, my hero. He thinks I'm his hero, a.k.a. Daniel, uh, Marty Sensei Cove. Um, and I think he said uh, that he couldn't finish writing it because my name was Daniel. Oh, the second you, you know, you, he asked, like, what's your name? The second you said it, he's like, oh, I can't even finish that. No. No mercy. No, but, but that even explains more what I mentioned uh, just a little second ago. Uh, why did I say that the Karate Kid is my alternate universe? I will tell you why. Because, look at the similarities here. Daniel LaRusso is from New Jersey. Daniel Saletti is from New Jersey. Miss Newark doll? How'd you know I was from Newark? Daniel LaRusso is trying to fit in with others that aren't exactly the same as him. Same here. <laughs> We both drink milk. Benefits. I could never get them working in computers. They pay for everything. It's great, huh? Just saying. And then the things go, go away. He gets the nice looking girlfriend. I'm still waiting. He becomes a sports star. I'm not such of a sports star. It's, am I going crazy here? <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe not completely. It's kind of like insert, you know, Marvel multiverse theory here. 
That's what I think. It's a possibility. That's what I think. But let's get, let's stay on track here. Um, why, why do you think the Karate Kid worked? Why, I mean, it's, 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 it's another sports movie, but why do you think it worked? I mean, I feel like a few reasons would be it's, it's relatable to, like you were saying, people like fitting in. I'm um, sure it's, you know, every teenager goes through that. Um, I mean, but also I feel like a lot of like 70s and 80s people were really into like, uh, like karate movies and like, I mean, just a decade earlier, it was just with Bruce Lee. And then, you know, yeah. after that, it was just a mountain, you know, an avalanche rather of, you know, kung fu movies that you would see. So it's something that was definitely in like the, you know, the public eye at the moment. Yeah, no, and I mean, there, there's a lot of good scenes in this movie. I mean, uh, there, there's like the, there's a Halloween dance um, that's featured in this movie that has a great, mm. great couple of scenes. <laughs> Shower. How do you know? I just know. Now? Don't know what she sees in him. She must be into fungus. Help me, help me, my flower needs water. Hey, you've come to the right place, stranger. Yeah, I've never danced in a shower before. Hey, a friend of mine made this point. <laughs> That's funny. Isn't it great? So, uh, where have you been hiding? Well, I haven't been hiding. No, I haven't seen you around. Have you been looking? Sorta. Sorta. Well, I thought maybe you were still angry with me. So you want to go outside? You talked me into it. <laughs> 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 I out this chicken. He's wild. The guy's using real legs. <laughs> Um, there's also, I mean, uh, the, of course, the training montages, you know, the classic wax on, wax off. This is where that comes from. And Daniel son. Daniel son. What? Come here. Show me son de floor. I can't move my arm, all right? What are you doing? What are you? Ow! Ow, what are you doing? Now show me sand the floor. How did you do that? Shut up! Sand the floor. Mm. Da, 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 da. Stand up. Show me sand the floor. Sand the floor. Sand the floor. Sand the floor. Big sucker, Sanda Floa. Sanda Floa. Now show me wax on, wax off. Aye. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey, wax on, hat. Wax off. Hat. Concentrate. Look in my eye. Lock a hand. Thumb inside. Wax on, hat. Wax off, hat. Wax on, hat. Wax off, hat. Wax on. Wax off. Ush. Show me paint the fence. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Other side. Look, I. Always look, I. Show me paint the house. Say, say. Lock the list. 
Saif, 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 Saif. Yes. Show me wax on, wax off. Yes! 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 Show me pen to fence. Yes! 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 Show me side to side. Yes! 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 Show me sand of floor. Yes! 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 And then, you know, the final fight, the competition at the end. Yeah. And that's another one to draw the, um, you know, the parallels to, to uh, Rocky. Yeah. Exactly. With the training montages oh, yeah. and the montages, then, the, yeah. you know, training up to a final fight. So clearly it's something that, you know, it's a formula that worked before and he, you know, the director got it to work again. Absolutely. Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? No sensei. No mercy. Absolutely, yeah, no, and and I think you're the best. People say it doesn't fit in Karate Kid because it there's a lyric there where history repeats itself, so like Rocky's fighting again. But I mean, yeah. Daniel's going around that ring, so it's like he's repeating the same act. So I don't know. But between that and uh, the Conti score, and then even songs like um, "Cruel Summer" is in that. So it's just yeah. it screams '80s, but it's good '80s music. Hey, you got a name? Allie with an I. What's your name? Daniel, with an L. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Definitely. So. Definitely a product of its time, yeah. Yeah. In a good way, though. It is, it is. So, I mean, with all that combined, I mean, uh, great cast, great music, and great fun. Uh, if you haven't seen it, Go, do yourself a favor and watch Karate Kid. You're going to love it. Uh, and Pat Morita, especially, does a wonderful job as Miyagi. He, he really just has some great lines in there. So, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I never really got a chance to thank you. Oh, no, it was nothing that... that oh, no, come on. No one's ever done anything like that for me. I mean, you don't even know me. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sorry about what happened to your radio and all that I stuff. Radio. Yeah. What about your eyes? Well, maybe if I get my mouth shut, then I wouldn't have busted up the radio, so that's, that's why I feel so left. Yeah. It was only a radio, though. Maybe she should have just let him have it. Why? I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't theirs. Oh, I gotta go with the bell. Um, see ya. Yeah, I'll see ya. Hey! What, what's your name? <laughs> Allie. With an I? Allie. With I. A L Y I? No. I. A L. A L. I. A L. I. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Allie. Okay. Okay. I'll see you. Bye. Good. Okay. So, um, well, this was 1984. They were wondering, can lightning strike twice? 
Uh, so they went ahead and made a sequel in 86, I want to say, uh, Karate Kid Part 2. Now, this was during a time, you know, a lot of the time in the 80s where they'll, uh, they'll just say Part 2 or Part 3 or something like that. There's really not a continuous story. They just couldn't say Karate Kid 2, I guess. I don't know. But this one is... Yeah, sort of. Um, they focus less on Daniel and more on Miyagi because the two of them go back to Japan. And they go to Miyagi's home and Daniel has a new love interest now. Oh, how dare you get rid of Elizabeth Shue? Um, and he has a new enemy that he has to fight in a new type of competition. So we saw a famous bit here in the trailer uh, where Daniel chops through uh, the blocks of ice. That's a very famous scene in part two here. Um, to me, I always felt it was weaker. Now, you know, you could always argue that sequels are weaker than the original, but uh, what do you think? Am, am I missing something in the story or do you think it's weak? What do you think, Vince? Just as you said that, I immediately thought like, I don't know, I don't feel like it's weaker. I feel like it, I've always felt like it's, you know, stands right on its own feet alongside the first one because I think it's the perfect way to do it instead of like rehashing the story over again with a tournament, um, you know, they do something completely different. And I think it was a, you know, wise choice to focus a little bit more on Miyagi and, you know, going to Japan and everything. Yeah, no, I, I, I like that aspect of it too, and I mean, Maybe it's because it was just in a different country and I, I just didn't click with it. I don't know. But I, I, mean, I love the idea of, of, of deep diving deep into the other cultures and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's really cool. Um, do you think that it was wise to make Daniel now a James Bond character and give him a different girl every movie? I don't know. I, why? Why? <laughs> what happened to Elizabeth Shue? <laughs> yeah, that was something like, you know, we'll get into it with the third movie, too. There's a, a new girlfriend, you know, at there that is. point, too. Even in the, you know, the Cobra Kai series, you, yeah. have, a, you have a different wife. But uh, I always thought that was a little weird that he kept going from, like, girlfriend to girlfriend. But, um, no, I think it was a good choice to, you know, make him a little bit more, you know, I guess manly a little bit compared to the first one. Because, yeah. I mean, like, it would have been a little strange if you did the same story of like him like being weak again and like you know gaining everything back because like he you know he didn't lose anything because it's only like what like a year after the or not even directly after the tournament. Yeah. It's Directly after the tournament, the because first bit is the like the connective tissue. It's right after the the tournament. Yeah, and I think like one of the opening lines of the movie is uh, Daniel is coming to Miyagi's home, and uh, he's saying how basically uh, prom was a disaster because um, Elizabeth Shue's character of Allie just went off with some other guy. <laughs> oh, Daniel Sam, must have been something your prom. What happened? You mean what didn't happen? First, they let Allie borrow the car, and she redesigns my fender. And I don't know what she do with the engine, but that ain't running right either. <laughs> you know what else she does? She tells me that she's just fallen in love with some football player from UCLA. Why don't she just lie to me? Things could be worse. Yeah, well, don't worry about it. They are. Last night, I find out my mom got picked by a company to go to Fresno. Two months, we leave tomorrow afternoon, and I got to send my whole summer to Fresno. You're not going to be able to fix that. How'd you do that? <laughs> What'd you do? Okay, that's how we write her out of the story, I guess. 
a little odd, but I think they did good with, you know, showing a little bit more character growth and a little bit, like, more strength, I guess you could say. Yeah. I think it was a good choice. Yeah, I mean, maybe I just have to, I have to watch it again. I mean, I remember if I were ever to come across Karate Kid, I'd say, like, okay, I'm, I'm going to watch that first one. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, uh, there's the second one. It's there, and I like these characters, but do I want to put it in? And I'm like, I don't know, but... I don't know. May- maybe I do have to see it again. I'm interested to see where you're gonna rank like them all together with like all four of them, kind of thing. Yes. Because I, I, you know, I feel like uh, I don't know. I feel like the weakest one is or if the original trilogy. The weakest one is probably the third one. But if we want to go the quadrilogy, it's definitely the fourth one. But and, I, and I'm sorry. How many did you say were in this series? Say that number again. I mean, technically five, but original series, well, okay. you know, four. Four. Okay. Yeah. He said four, folks. There's four, and we'll get to four in a reason in a in a minute. Um, but yeah, no, uh, Karate Kid Part Two. Uh, it's different. Um, I I can't name any other people like the other the Japanese guy that he fights. Uh, chosen. Chosen. Yeah. yeah chosen. Yeah. yeah. And, and he- <laughs> now I dropped the bridge. Let her go. Come on! No! We fight to death! in a few things I think I can't name exactly I mean what, he shows up again in the series but yeah I off the top of my head I can't remember what else he's been in but I wouldn't you know I wouldn't doubt it and I can't remember the girl's name either but um I want to say Kikio I think something like something that something like yeah. that maybe yeah. I'm mixing that up with anime but it, it's not it's not Keiko that's Star Trek but, yeah. yeah um But yeah, no, uh, Karate Kid Part 2, uh, if you love Karate Kid, you might like Part 2. Um, who knows? I, I could just be totally wrong about this. But uh, yeah, give it a watch. But if you want more Karate Kid, they gave you more. Because um, in 1989, you thought you were done. No, mm-mm. We got Karate Kid Part 3. So yeah a lot of people agree with you on on this one when you say it's weak karate kid part three comes out and machio (laughs) 
He's not looking so much like the Karate Kid anymore. He's looking more like the Miyagi Man or something like that. He's he's getting a little old and he's getting a little full in the face there even. But uh, what this one's about is uh, I think the the writers must have been a little bit of uh, looking for stories because it's kind of a rehashing of number one. We have Daniel. Get it? Confronting Cobra Kai again. The only difference is we have this new guy here, Terry, um, who's this kind of double, double-crossing trainer. He will train. Kind of plays both sides. He plays both sides. Yeah. He'll train Daniel because Daniel's fed up with Miyagi, but he also will train this new guy for Cobra Kai, and they end up at the same competition and uh, stuff like that. I mean, the whole thing was just a, a trap, really, for, for Daniel and Miyagi. Big time trap. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and, but our good friend Martin Cove is still in there again, so he comes back. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's, like I said, it, it seems like a rehashing of number one. What are your thoughts on part, th part it, three? Yeah, it is and it isn't a rehash. I mean, it's a rehash with, like, the, the tournament portion of it. But I feel like all the uh, like the stuff with the bonsai shop and like all that stuff is that's that's fresh and that's good. I'm sorry, you said the word bonsai. Yeah, bonsai. Sorry. Bonsai, Daniel Hey, bonsai. Okay, sorry. Yeah, C continue. But no, it's um it's a rehash and then fresh at the same time. Like, I feel like it, it was a good reason to get them back to the tournament again. But like you know, once again they got them back to a tournament. Daniel San, Mr. Miyagi, it's over. It's over. Forget about it. No. You stay focused. And this are your best karate still inside you. Now time let out. Yeah, and I, I, I like the fact that uh, Martin Cove's back, um, you know, obviously Daniel and Miyagi, but yeah. um, I, I, I swear, and we might have even seen it in the trailer there, that even the, the, the same referee from the competition is there. It's the same guy with the mustache. Uh, you know, if you've seen the movie, you know the guy I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, but it's like... I like everyone's there, but it's, I, I, did I put in the wrong movie? No. I mean, no, I, I think it's, you know, out, out of the, you know, the whole series though, it's, you know, once again, it has its ups and downs, but like, it's not, it's definitely not the worst. It's, I still really enjoyed it. I think my personal favorite is probably the second one, yeah. but I mean, well, but first and second, yeah. but a yeah. second one out of the sequels, but it's still very enjoyable. Yeah, no, and, and, and like you said, we got a new girl in this one. Yeah who don't even ask me what her name could possibly be. I, I'm sorry, I got Elizabeth Shue on the brain. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I I like, there is a scene between the two of them. I think they do rescue a bonsai! 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 Tree. Yeah, with the bonsai on the cliff. On the that's cliff, the one yeah. that uh, Miyagi's been saving, like yep. his prized, prized bonsai. Hey, screw you, man! Come on. You're one heavy whip, Daniel. Come on, don't stop. Keep pulling. What are you doing? Come on, stop. Come on, keep pulling, stop. Leave him there and get the application. Oh, hey, the application when I get up there. Oh, yeah? Ah! Hey, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, you okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Here, just hold it. Again. Here, take it. Check it out. 
It's cool. Hey, don't even think about backing out, man. Please, please be, be careful. Hey, what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> we plant it down there. No, 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 no don't no. please. All right, all right, enough. Give me it. You want it? Yeah, just don't throw it over. Be careful with it, please. Hey, Daniel. Make a wish. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, is he is he ill in this? Did they did they write I that in? Don't maybe? think I'm trying to remember, I don't think he's ill. I just think he's just trying to do like the peaceful life. Yeah. Like kind of change what he's doing in life and just run the bonsai shop. Yeah. To start the business. Start the business, yeah. I, I, I like what they were trying to do. I like the double crossing thing, which was clever. Yeah. And um, or, Terry's a Terry's a great character. Terry seemed very evil. I liked I yeah. liked how he did. He's that a good. That's a good way to do a villain. Yeah, yeah. And I, you owe me a lot more than that, Danny boy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought the lessons were for free, but no, I, no, no, nothing's for free. You are going to defend. You're getting in that ring. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Silver. You can't make me do something I don't want to do. Danny, Danny, Danny. From the moment you met me, I've been making you do things you didn't want to do. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Yeah, what? Let's show them what I'm talking about. Boy, it's gonna be, I'm not gonna be there. So just forget about it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's show Mr. Crease how he's gonna get his business back. Hey, I'm not gonna fight. You can't make me fight. <laughs> you don't have to. You can just... And I feel like um, this I like one bubble bath there. Yeah, the the <laughs> evil billionaire kind of thing in the Oof. hot tub. But yeah. this one is another one that it kind of you know runs parallels again with uh, with Rocky. It's kind of like a Rocky Four situation where it's yep. like the um, the karate champ that they bring into Cobra Kai. I mean, that's like the same kind of situation as Drago. Yeah. From the fourth Rocky. And I mean, like I mentioned. Uh, Machio was a little full in the face. I think he was a little tired, and he was married. I think even at the time of filming. Yeah. So now, and it's nothing new for older people to play younger characters. It's nothing new. But I was just gonna say the funny thing about that is actually um, he's you know Terry is supposed to be like the older character, and then he's actually uh, Ralph Machio is older than um, the guy who plays Terry Silver. Oh jeez. I think he was like at that point like twenty six. I want to say in the third movie. Oh man. So, you know, well well out of the teenage years. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> In real life, the truth is that Ralph Macchio, playing Daniel LaRusso, born November 4, 1961, is actually slightly older than Thomas Ian Griffith, playing Terry Silverborn, March 18, 1962, meaning that Macchio was 28 years old but playing a 17-year-old. All the while, Griffith was 27 years old but playing a man who in 1989 would have had to have been at least 33 years old in order to have served in the Vietnam War. If you, if Maybe. You, if you want to check out part three, please do. Um, if you're watching Karate Kid all the way through, you got to watch it. I okay. mean, it's Definitely still worth your time. Though. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think so. It's, it's all in good fun, really it is. Yeah. So um, I don't know how long the time frame is between that two and three, but... Yeah, because like I said, one and two are like, you know, right after, right you after know, they're connected. Other. And then uh, three, they don't really give a time. Like, mm. But I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't imagine it's too long. But no. maybe, we'll say maybe like a year. Yeah. Like, couldn't be too long. Couldn't be too long, yeah. But give it a watch uh, because they're, I mean, Terry's a great character and it's a, I, it, it might, you might see, see yourself saying, oh, it might have been a good finale for Karate Kid, making a nice tr trilogy. Wrong. Uh, because there was more to come. But before we get to the more to come, you know, we had these three films. Many people wanted more adventures of Daniel and Miyagi. Well, how about making them like super spies with karate? Because that works. Because there was an animated Karate Kid TV show. 
yeah, um, many people don't know about this little gem. Uh, Even myself, like, you know, I, I've always loved the movies and, but like, I feel like maybe I vaguely, like, heard about this before, but like, really, I didn't really know about it until you told me. Well, it didn't last very long, like, anywhere from, uh, that's, that's, that's beautiful. We'll make, we'll make another future connection, but it's kind of like, a you know, Jackie Chan Adventures, like, you yeah. know. Well, that many last, years before. That lasted longer than this. This yeah. was like maybe, I don't know, nine to 13 episodes or something like that. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, Miyagi and uh, Daniel go all over the world. Uh, he's surfing on a missile, of course he is. They go all over the world and they're doing like James Bond stuff. And I don't know if that's the girl from part two or not, but. Maybe, but hey, maybe it's more evidence of uh, we're, you know, painting him to be a little bit of a player kind of thing. It's another girlfriend. So yeah. Fits right in. But honestly, your thoughts, do we, do, now, without future s c things that we'll talk about in a second, at this point in time, did we need a cartoon Karate Kid TV show? I mean, I mean, I've never seen it, but I mean, I feel like people want a more Karate Kid. It, it makes sense to make a cartoon series of it. Like, it's no different than any other, you know, TV shows or movies from the 80s. Like, you know, there's a Beetlejuice cartoon. Another one comes up, to, uh, like, I think this is more like 90s, but the Tales from the Crypt cartoon. Tales from the Crypt? It, it seems like it's not, I mean, I mean. It's Back a, to the Future? It's a teenage, yeah, Back to the Future. It's a teenage karate uh, movie, so it's not too far of a stretch to make a, um, a cartoon series out of it. This week, search for Shrine. Lead down Amazon into Jaw of Arigata, Claw of Jaguar. Daniel Sun survive with deadly dance of fire. Yeah. Compared to some of the other ones. I mean, uh, one of the things I think I forgot to mention when we did our 60th anniversary James Bond mm -hmm. trilogy uh, was there was a cartoon show in the 80s and 90s, James Bond Jr., where it's like he was his nephew and stuff like that so and, and and that made no sense but they were just trying to cash I mean, in on the juggernaut that was the bond franchise so is that what they're trying to do with karate Kid oh here? yeah i mean like they'll you know any any year we're talking they'll, they'll do that all the time the cash in you know keep keep the you know keep the train rolling kind of thing yeah keep the momentum going i mean i liked how their likenesses looked like machio and oh yeah morita but you could say that i mean that they were pretty that's pretty decent that's one thing you can't say about other you know yeah shows that you can say about that one. I mean, I don't think they did the voices, but... Probably not. It, it just made no sense, but it's a chapter people don't know a lot about, so yeah. there you go. I guess, but... And, and if you can find ep the episodes of this, make a decision for yourself, because for me, it doesn't make one bit of sense, but... I, I mean, hey, sometimes it's just fun to see more of the characters you love kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it might be silly, but I mean, you know, I'm going to look for it, and I'll see what I, you know what I think about it. Yeah, silly is definitely the word for it. <laughs> uh, well, you know, like like I said, uh, Karate Kid Part 3 was supposed to be the finale, the end of the trilogy. This series came, came around and most people don't even know about it. Um, but people still wanted more. And there was no way we were going to get Machio back for probably a good amount of reasons. So, but, but, producers were still able to get Pat Morita back on board. So we we got Miyagi, but we need the student. Thus, we enter the next Karate Kid. So uh, the next Karate Kid, this is the, this is the part of the, the show where we again say number four. There were four Karate Kids um, in, in what's called the Miyagi verse. Um, so, the, even in the trailer here, they want you to remember, remember these two guys? You love those guys, right? Well, uh, we're going to kick Daniel to the curb and we're going to introduce someone totally different. Um, the trailer's going to show her in just one second. We're going to give you, there she is, Hillary Swank, yes, um, as the next Karate Kid. So, do you think, Vince, as we watch the trailer here, someone out there said, oh, let's do a gender swap, um, in, in the sense of we're not saying that she's Daniel, but she's just a, a new student and she's a girl. 
Um, or do you think they were actually trying to continue the franchise? Um, no, I think they were definitely trying to continue the franchise, keep, you know, the momentum going that they had. What, I mean, what year is this? Like, 90? This is 1994. Yes, yeah, they were in 90s. I mean, this trailer screams, like, 90s, like, just in comparison. You can feel, you can see the vibes and feel them. Oh, but, yeah, big time. Um, no, I mean... I mean, it's definitely an interesting way to, you know, gender swap it. Like, you know, it's something different. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This was this was her first film, so that's kind of cool for for Hilary Swank playing uh, Julie Pierce in this next Karate Kid film. And I do like, I do appreciate the fact that uh, we got Conti back on board to uh, do the music for it. But I mean, nobody else from Karate Kid is really in it, except for Miyagi, obviously. But um, Daniel is not mentioned. The director is different. Uh, there's there's no Cobra Kai. There's 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 nothing yeah. that would connect to, to Karate Kid except for music by Bill Conti and Mr. Miyagi. And some himself. of the similar themes and everything. Yeah. And I don't know. Um, I, I I I will actually confess to this. I haven't seen the next Karate Kid, hmm. so I am I'm a little bit in the dark about this one too. But do do you think it was necessary? I mean, necessary? Not really. I mean, I mean, I don't know how much money it made, but I mean, I mean, I remember hearing. I mean, people like didn't really like it. Like, I mean, I I like it. It's it's you know, it's still good, but it's definitely it's kind of like the strange child. Like, you know, it's separated. Like, there's no real connective tissue. They could have at least you know said like, hey, like. You know, they don't have to bring back Cobra Kai, but you could at least say, like, you know, they know Daniel or something, or at least say where he's, you know, gone. Yeah, and I want to say that I, I, I saw something where he might have been name-dropped. Maybe, yeah. But it, It's been a little bit since I've watched it. But. How was school to... What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? You're supposed to laugh before you come into a girl's room. Hey, hey, hey. Very, very sorry. Me and apologize. Very sorry. Oh, very sorry. Very sorry. Oh. Okay, I'm dressed. You can look now. Ah, Miyagi, apologize. You see, um, before, uh, live with a friend, Daniel-san. Daniel-san come Miyagi room, Miyagi go Daniel-san room. No big thing. Um, boy is easier. Just forget about it, okay? Okay. Uh, today, Miyagi go pick up Julie-san at the school, but uh, you're not there. They make it explicitly clear that there is no Daniel physically there, and it's 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 just a real bummer, I think. But I don't know. Maybe they're also trying to attract. Well, this is a sports movie at heart, so I mean, you have boys lined up anyway. Maybe maybe all the girls were lined up for Macho. Now all the boys are maybe lined up for Swank. They're trying to get the other demographic. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not alone. I mean, the, it's quite a few other karate ninja movies, if you will, in the 90s. I mean, you got, like, the Ninja Turtles, the, uh, what is That'll it? never work. The Three Ninjas. Yeah. Like, there, there's, there, you know, it's it had its, you know... Yeah. Competitors, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, it's... it's, And then you have your action fighting movies, too. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just... It has more in... I feel like this one has more in common with, like... I don't know, something like a like a, like a Steven Seagal movie or something. Mm. I don't know, but like you know, '90s action movies versus like a sports movie. It had kind of like a a tonal shift. Well, we've been you've been you've been mentioning it a lot, and we'll get into more detail about it um, a little bit in a second. But um, we're she's the only character that has yet to appear yeah. in Cobra Kai. Yeah, they. Um, I think they originally they they planned it to have seven seasons, but I think Netflix is finally yeah. they given it the the axe. I mean, not really the axe, but they just you know six is what we're doing, and yeah. that's it. But um, so we'll see if they they squeeze her into the last season. But I mean, they've done pretty much everything in the Cobra Kai series. Yeah, and and she, it's part of the history, guys. I mean, I I searched high and low for a DVD set of Karate Kid because I said I want. I want Hilary Swank in there. Yeah. And I did find one eventually that has one, two, three, and next. It's hard to find though. Like you go to like, I don't know, you go to the store, like usually it's just the original three. Hey. I did it! Yes! I did it! Yes! 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 Yes!
Congratulations, Julissa. Congratulations? That's all you're gonna say is congratulations? Don't I get a belt or something? I belt more. No! I mean a karate belt! Brown belt, black belt! Why well, need the belt? So everyone knows I'm good! You know you're good. That's the important thing. Hey, it's called footwork. It's usually the original three and this next topic of ours. Um, first of all, if you haven't seen Next Karate Kid, give it a chance because it's still Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. It's something different. Hillary Swank looks pretty nice. It's, it's different, but you know, still plenty entertaining. It's, 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 it's the not, same no, formula. By no means bad, just different. Yeah, it's the same formula. That's, that's, all, that's all you have to realize. So give it a watch, but yeah, no. Uh, most stores, if you go there, you'll sometimes find just the parts one, two, three together, or parts one, two, three, and the 2010 reboot of... The Karate Dog. Okay, yeah. The <laughs> Karate Kid. So, it, yes, in 2010, they rebooted The Karate Kid, and this, one, this time it had everyone's favorite martial arts guy, Chaka Chan. You have to say his name just like that, Chaka Chan. Jackie Chan, and uh, some little whiny kid named Jaden Smith. Um, <laughs> I'm smiling the whole time about this. I know you are, yeah. yeah. Um, how do I say this nicely? What the heck was it? Why, why did we need the Karate Kid reboot? And they're not even using the same names. What's going on here? I mean, well, I mean, I don't think you need to use the exact same names, but uh, it's uh, it's a little bit of a conf confused movie. Hmm. I love love Jackie Chan. I think he makes like a great like you know Mr. Miyagi like teacher mentor. Um, but the biggest I don't know the biggest complaint is uh, the funniest thing to me is it's not even uh, not even karate. It's uh, it's they go to China, so it's uh, it's, um technically it's kung fu. Kung fu. But yeah, no, uh, okay. Um, we do know the difference between karate and kung fu, right? Mm, I don't know if they uh, did. But. Apparently not. And you know, I don't know. I, I, I can't I can't put down like you know like again. I'm seem to be referencing him a lot here. We can't go back to Bond like all that thing going on there and, and say like this is the, supposed to be the same Miss Money Penny here and say race change because he's not Daniel Larusso. Yeah, it'd be weird if it was, you know, Daniel or, you know, even Swank's character. Or even it'd be, it'd be weird character. if they did that again, you know, because they're all much older now. But, um, no, I mean, like, it was, uh, what, 2010? So, like, it was the same reboot train. They're trying to reboot everything. So they they just, like, threw a dart kind of thing, you know. And, and was this was this Jaden's first acting role? I forget. I don't think it was his first. I think he did, I want to say maybe... I think Pursuit of Happiness, I think. Oh, of I think course, he, duh. Yeah, he did one yeah. with his dad before. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, I think that might have been yeah. his first one. But yeah, of course, of course, of course. One of his first, like, he's trying to get out there as, like, his own actor and not just, like, you know, kind of, like, part of his, you know, dad's part family. Part of his dad's stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, I don't know. I'm always, I'm always, I can be put on the fence when it comes to reboots. I mean, like, there, there will be some times when a movie gets rebooted and I say, why? But then I'll say, okay, maybe it needed it a little bit. Or I'll say, well, this, well, the, well, the original did this scene great. Or the original did this scene poorly, but the reboot did this scene great. Or vice versa. And yeah, and it has some really good moments. Like specifically with Jackie Chan's character. Um, like you, you remember the whole thing with like he he builds up the car every year, like vaguely, just yeah. To, yeah, like so he builds a car like every year, like fixes it up just to like destroy it again. Yeah, and it was like a like uh, like an emotional like you know, heartstrings kind of thing where like I think his family got into a car accident or something, but.
We're not trying today. July 8th. Yeah, no, like, Jackie Chan's character is uh, definitely a standout in the movie. Yeah, no, I, I and, 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 I, and I love Jackie Chan. I mean, I, I've seen him in some really um, fun movies, but it's just... So many. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not too far different if you think about it. It's still like the fish out of water concept. Yeah. But instead of moving, you know, him to New Jersey, this time it's like more extreme and move from him all New, the way to... From, from Jersey. From Jersey, yeah, I thought it was New York or something, but like, but still, like, you know, they're moving all the way to China, so it's, you know, it's even more so a fish out of water. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's that's part of the that's part of the alternate universe train to these two Daniels coming from New Jersey. So yeah, so make it three. They <laughs> make it three. Yeah. Forget what Jaden's character was name. I, I don't. I I couldn't tell you his name, but I mean, the bottom line is, if you want to see what a different type of Karate Kid would look like, this is the one to watch. I, I'm not a fan. If you definitely put a gun to my head and said, choose Karate Kid, I'd say put in that original one right now. Oh yeah, no, exactly. Um, I mean, it's one of those cases where I feel like it almost could have like, you know, stood on its own legs and, you know, not even call it Karate Kid, just have Kung it be, kid? I don't know, something, but like whatever title, you know, it, it works, but yeah. it's just, you know, it's not exactly Karate Kid. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but if you really want to watch it, Go ahead and, and give it a try and then compare it. You can try to compare it to the originals and see what you think and see uh, if you should be saying, man, more DVDs should include Julie Pierce than whatever Jaden Smith's character was. Another thing I'll say, another thing they did get right is uh, they, they had some really good like fighting choreography or choreography. Choreography. Yeah. Choreography, yeah, anyway. But no, but they, they really, you know, they, they put effort into it though. Well, you have Jackie Chan. Yeah, exactly. Board, so yeah, I mean, how, he, he, he kind of takes takes hold of that pretty yeah. well so so that was the last thing of karate kid we had for a very long time we had the original four we had that strange series and then we had this reboot and you know people thought okay i still like those original ones what what can we do well someone out there said i got an idea let's make a television show about karate kid and let's call it not karate kid Let's call it Cobra Kai. So, Cobra Kai is an interesting story. I love Karate Kid. I want to make that perfectly clear again. This takes clear. This takes place here, um, as we saw right there, 34 years after the original film. And what it mainly focuses on is William Zabka's character of Johnny. Johnny living his best life, clearly. Clearly. And we have him kind of still angry at our good man, Daniel LaRusso. Once again, played by Ralph Macchio. So the thing here is, is that they still have this rivalry, but let me get this straight. They still have a rivalry, but then they like get together, but then they do can't like pretend they're together. And when I say that, they like form a dojo together, but then they can't be known that they're yeah. friends-ish. They go back and forth with like that, you know, are they friends, enemies? Like they, they do the back and forth swap a lot throughout the series. Yeah. Well, you're more averse with this series, um, Vince, and we're just seeing the season one trailer. This is it's, it's going into its sixth and final season, as we've mentioned. Yeah, I think it's in production this year, yeah. Tell me more about Cobra Kai, the, the series. Um, so yeah, so like you said, it centers around like, you know, Johnny, 
Um, it's really, it's just, he sees, like, Daniel's got his life together, he's, you know, got a family, he went into, like, uh, took Miyagi's advice, went into sales. Yep. Um, and then he's kind of, his life hasn't, you know, gone so well after, like, you know, he kind of peaked in, like, high school and with Cobra Kai, and he's trying to get his life back together kind of thing. Yeah, and I mean, uh, we saw here that the series started on YouTube Red Originals. Yes, it which, had kind of a weird, weird history. It is like... Of all places. I know, I'm I, 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 this is me, but YouTube Red Originals is like the lowest bar you could ever find of streaming services, because many people just didn't know about it. Yeah, it, it took them quite a while until they, I think they renamed it recently. Yeah, but. It took a while for it to catch on. And then over the years, Netflix picked it up, and now it's exclusively on Netflix. Um, you and I oh, wow, look at that. That's a nice headband. You know, I, we should get some of those. Hmm. We, you know, we, we should really get some of those. Um, I don't know, though. Oh, look at... There we go! Oh, hey, wow! Yeah. That's so weird. Um, I don't know. I feel like when I first saw this advertised, I said to myself... Is this a fan thing? Because especially since it's on YouTube, I said, you know, did they just did, did did someone actually just contact Ralph Macchio and William Zapka and say, hey, I got this great thing for like a like a like an, a YouTube series that no one's gonna watch or like a, a a special of some sorts? Basically, just like, hey, it's been thirty years. You in the mood to come back to Karate Kid? Yeah, yeah, and it and and you know, just we'll film it once and we'll say, hey, that was fun. Yay, okay, move on. It definitely, yeah, it, um, they kind of, it went up in quality for the show, like, as, like, the seasons went on. It, it was, uh, I mean, it was by no means terrible, but yep. it was, it's, it did feel a little bit lower quality in the beginning. Yep. Like, they weren't too sure how long it was going to last, like, where they were going to go with it, but, um, Well, I almost yeah. got, I almost got, like, um, the previews for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. vibes from this. Uh, when that series first was advertised, I said, oh my God, this thing's going to last maybe one season and it's going to be done. No one's going to watch a Marvel television show. Seven seasons later, I eat my own yeah. words. Yeah, but quite, they, they ran for quite a while too. Yeah. I, I felt the same way with this. I mean, like, this is, this is not the same, I mean, it's the same characters and yeah. actors but it's like it's not the same vibe as the original karate kids we're focusing on the villains now uh what is going on it's not gonna last six seasons later yeah no and same like i mean i when i when they was announced i was like i was super happy i was like yeah woo more karate kids sure, like, I'm, yeah. I'm for it but like i had that same feeling like i didn't th know if it was gonna last that long being like the youtube original but um yeah no here we are no, I, I, I agree with that, and we've said throughout the show that um, a lot of the characters have come back. Oh, yeah. And uh, more and more, like, you know, they, the original cast, like, you know, from the first, like, yeah, from the first movie, and then as the seasons went on, they brought back characters from, like, the, um, you know, the second movie with all the Japanese characters. Yeah, he actually, there's a whole episode where he just goes to Japan and, like, gets advice, for, you know, um, yeah, because Chosen is in there. Yeah, he learns, uh, he goes to Japan and learns, like, secret techniques that, like, Miyagi didn't teach him. Yep. Like, from, like, straight from the original dojo to help, you know, combat Cobra Kai. And, and Martin Cove is recurring. Yes. Yep. Yeah, he's, he's in it recurring. And Terry's in there. Yeah, Terry comes down later down the line, I want to say season four. Okay. But, um, yeah, they bring back, they've, they've brought back pretty much everybody besides, um, you know, any of the characters from Next Karate Kid. Yeah, and, and... Um, Elizabeth Shue even gets like an episode. Yeah, she's a quick cameo. Like she comes and visits like Johnny like once, but that's you know. But she's there. But she she shows up. She's though. there, which is what I'm happy about. This is a shopping mall, huh? This is where karate was born. Oh right, Miyagi Shimpo Sensei. You know Shimpo Sensei? Yeah. Like all Miyagi ancestors, he was a fisherman. Daniel-san, where's Chosen? Uh, he had to teach a class. Hopefully he goes a little easier on them than he did on me. I hope you both learn something from each other. Oh, my gosh. Allie, is it really you? Oh, I think so. Oh, wow, I was hoping that I would run into you one day. It's funny that it's here, though, huh? Set, 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 set.
You can either accept that, or I can kick it again right now. Than ever, right? I've been thinking about you a lot lately. I um. Yeah, no, and and yeah, like we said, why haven't they included next? I mean, they've they've even like put Pat Morita's picture and mentioned and yeah, name dropped they, him um, a bunch of times because he's a actually good, dead. But. Yeah, they did a good job with that. They kind of aged it up a little bit. You know, Pat Morita died in 2005, but yeah. they kind of changed it up in the show for 2011. He died, so like he, you know, he was able to see like the birth of like Daniel's daughter and kind of okay. be kind of be like a mentor to her a little bit. You okay. know, they, they tied it in nicely. Yeah. How about how about this for twist? I mean, like you know. Uh, Daniel has, we've seen his track record. He's had so many girlfriends. Maybe, uh... I think he would have picked one of the three, but... Maybe maybe he and Hillary Swank got together? Not even. It's a completely different wife. Well, that's the thing. But maybe, like, maybe maybe they'll connect it that way. Like, you know, maybe. They, they dated briefly, and that's how maybe they know each other. I don't know. Because, yeah, I mean, one thing they could do is they definitely, they have a lot of, like, um, for the Cobra Kai students, they're both Cobra Kai and Miyagi, though. There's a yeah. lot of, um... Uh, upcoming like female actors like in the show, so it'd be it would make sense that they brought in Swank as like a kind of like a female mentor. Sure, yeah. You know. And now, now does Daniel run a Miyagi dojo and then Johnny runs a Cobra Kai dojo? Um, yeah, kind of. So, or is it like a joint effort? Uh, at one point, it's kind of a joint, but uh, it starts out with uh, Johnny basically, like I said, he's trying to get his act together, so he's like. He realizes like Cobra Kai was the best thing that ever happened to him, so he tries to bring back Cobra Kai, but like in a in a good way, and not like not like the you know, you know, with yeah. the way the way that Martin Cove and um, you know Terry Silver had it. Sure. Not trying to be a bad thing for the kids. And I mean, you know, this is along the lines of stuff like uh, Fuller House. Yeah. I mean, you bring back right all these there. all these cast members for an online streaming show that is trying to reel in those fans and they they do the same thing they have the recurring characters mm -hmm. the comeback characters um but th this this takes it this takes karate kid into a slightly darker chapter um now i mean the the basis of the of this franchise is guys are beating each other up pretty much pretty much which is pretty which can be you know you know wow that bruise looks pretty bad i feel the pain there but do we need Karate Kid to go a little bit darker? Do we need them to have all this bad stuff going on? Um, I don't know if we really need it, but I mean, I don't. Know, it's a good way to expand the universe, kind of, yeah. and you know, it's it's a good way to like you know delve deeper into the characters' lives instead of just you know oh, there's another tournament kind of thing. Well, you know, we get to that eventually. There's more tournaments of the new characters. Of course but, there is. Um, but no, it's a good way to like you know ex explore the characters a little bit more. And there can be more tournaments as long as that mustache referee is there. He better be there. Forget if it's him. It might be someone different at this time, but it's the what? same. It, I think it might. It's a different guy, but it's the same committee actually, in the same All Valley like you know arena. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the same place. They've been doing it for like 50 years in the show. He had one job. Just stand there. I mean, he might be there. I have to yeah. I have to look back and see if he is, but. Um, but again, like Fuller House, you can argue, like, did they, did all the actors just need paychecks? To, so that's like, oh man, I, I mean, Karate Kid again. I, and Machu is standing there like, do I have to do that stupid crane kick one more time? And, I mean, if they might have felt that way, you know, at one point in their lives, but I feel like it's been enough time that is, you know, past that they, they actually want to come back to the characters. Yeah. You know, people get nostalgic after so many years. Yeah. So. No, I get that. Well, I mean, they must have done something right because we've said that they're going into their sixth and final season. Yeah. Um, I will admit defeat on this as well. I've kind of steered away from it because I wasn't quite sure like how, how dark they were going to get, you know, if there were going to be a lot of language, if there was going to be a lot of other things like that. And I was like, yeah, but you and a lot of other people have said, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch yeah, it. Yeah, because it, so. it definitely has its dark moments, but it's nothing, nothing that's going to really like, you know, give you that bad of a taste yeah. i've always said like is it 
on on the darkness and language scale, is it like higher than Stranger Things or lower? And yeah. people have like said it's around the same. It's all over the place. So yeah. So yeah, no, I might. I'm I'm gonna have to give it a watch. And if you haven't watched it, uh, definitely see what you think of it and see if it's a um, good contender for a continuation of the Karate Kid. It's. Uh, I mean, I'd say it is. It's definitely. It has. I feel like it's at times it's like the cheesiest thing you've ever seen, but then well, that's good. it has moments of being like the worst thing you've ever seen, but also like the best thing you've ever seen. It's, you know, it's, it's a, I think it's a worthy contender for I love continuation. That. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is the most recent chapter of Karate Kid that we have. And, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's spanned for quite a while now. Almost, almost like 40 years almost now. Almost 40 years now. And... You gotta give them credit for keep keeping keeping you entertained and trying different things. I mean, we've had going to Japan competitions, spies, uh, girls, reboots, you know, and going 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 to China, going to China, <laughs> and uh, and now a, a, a big streaming dark series. So. Yeah, well, yeah, not too dark. Ta- but, yeah, you you know, know, it's it's a realistic like, adult. It's a, yeah, they try to be as relatable to real life and everybody's problems as they can. Of course. Well, um, thank you for really getting in the spirit of things and for oh, no. uh, uh, of course getting all the set stuff and the headbands and I, I brought the pictures, but yeah. um, and but like your shirt and the headbands and the bonsai, 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 bonsai. Ah, <laughs> um, so let's of course end the show now with our favorite thing: the Who Are You? Yes, the ever popular Who Are You? Um, Vince, you know how this works. Uh, to those of you who don't know how this works, uh, we're going to roll a clip and uh, you have to tell me who it is and or what it is from. I'll be very impressed if you get this. Let's roll the clip. Pick a card. Don't let me see it. Now I'll lose it in the deck. Cut the deck into two even piles. Okay. One more time. And again. How many cards? Eleven. Take five. Throw them away. Pick three more. Okay, now pick one of those. That's your card. All right, so that is your clip. Um, you, you and I were talking about it a little bit, and uh, you said how you, it sounded like an old thing, and I helped you out with that. It is an old thing. Yeah, the, the audio sounded like a, like a, came from like an older movie or TV show, but um, I'm not too sure where it's from. I mean, okay. knowing... It's not what you think. That's yeah. the other thing I said. Knowing you, I've got some guesses, but... I Go mean, for it. I mean, we'll say, I mean, I'll say it's like a, it's a James Bond scene or okay. a Star Trek scene that I'm not too sure of. You you can go Bond or Star Trek. We'll go we'll go Star Trek because okay. I feel like it's. Do, do you want to pick a series? We'll say the original series. The original series. Okay. Well, so maybe maybe there's one in there somewhere. You want to pick a character just for giggles? I have no idea, honestly. Um. We'll see. We'll just see what it. What okay, it is. so you're saying the original Star Trek. Sure. All right. Let's see who it is and what it is. You were so darn close! It's Next Generation! It is Don't Star Trek, it. but it was Jonathan Frakes as uh, Commander Riker. He's doing a card trick there with Data. And, uh... It in the deck. Wow! I gotta give you credit for that. I, I was not expecting anyone to say anywhere the in the deck, realm of Star five. Trek, but, uh, okay. you got that from Star Trek. One more time. And that is a bravo well, for you, sir. There was a ha- half point, we'll say. Half point, we'll give, we'll give absolutely. It a half point. Yeah, no, that's like, you won't get the full 10,000, but at least 5,000. Sure, I'll take um, it. That, wow, wow, I, I am very impressed. That must have been like a psychic link or something like that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on to the show and talking about Karate Kid and for getting that right. Um, or at least somewhat right. In, in the ballpark. In at the least. ballpark, yeah. The galaxy. The galaxy. Well, in the right galaxy. <laughs> exactly. So until next time, uh, my name is Dan Saletti. This has been As The Real Turns. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to our Magic and Tech team. 
always remember to wax on, wax off, and we will see you next time. That is a wrap. Banzai! 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 Banzai!